Hello and welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. If you happen to catch my last video you know that there is a Stamptacular sale going on right now. So I'm back to show you more stamps. This is the Beach Treasures and Strokes of an Artist. So the Beach Treasures has all these seashells and then the stro Strokes of an Artist is um, kind of a grunge background and texture uh, painterly look that you can add to your projects. So you can get this with the coordinating thin cuts, which I just love. I mean, you can fussy cut around these, but I think that the thin cuts just make everything quick and easy, and who doesn't love that? So I'm going to be creating two cards to share with you today using images from these stamp sets. But first, I want to share some happy mail. I got a couple cards in the mail the other day from Sister Close to My Heart Consultants and I just think it's so awesome. There's a Facebook only group for all of us consultants and it's just this wonderful place where we share and support each other and share ideas and just it's amazing. Tons of inspiration. But this card came from Claire Edmonds all the way from Australia. How cool is that? And it's just a happy little card to say hello and brighten my day and it did just that. I was very excited to get this in the mail. Now she did want to credit the original artwork to Chelsea Veros Marty. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And then this second card here with these cute kitties came from um, Shailana Glass all the way from Pennsylvania. So another just happy card. There's her little hand stamp by Shailana. And um, just again, just they're sending happy mail to say hello and just spread smiles across the miles and I just think it's awesome and I'm so happy to be a part of this group. So we are ready to dive into our card projects and if you've been watching my videos for a while you know how much I love these stitched rectangle frames. I just think it adds a really nice edge to our card panel and I'm ready to stamp. I'm going to be using the starfish the sand dollar and one of the seashell images from our beach treasure stamp set and I'm using the vanilla cardstock and then this is paprika ink so we will just ink my little starfish guy up here and just like that and while I'm stamping I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp all of my images this is the toffee colored ink that I'm doing for my sand dollar and then I will also use toffee for my little seashell here. I'm just trying to use up my scraps of paper. And now I can secure the coordinating dies. I'm just going to situate these into place and then I use post-it removable tape so it just holds the dies while they're going through the machine. I know there's magnetic plates available that help with that, um, but I don't have that right now, so this works very well. So I've laid down my all-purpose mat. I'm gonna do a little ink blending around the edges, and having the mat down allows you to start your ink blending off of the image and then work onto it, and that just gives you a really soft, seamless look. You don't get any um, concentrated spots of color that you don't want. So make sure you wipe the ink up in between projects, otherwise you're going to get ink all over everything else. And now I'm just doing the same thing with the toffee ink around the sand dollar, and the, I'm going to do the same on the shell. And you're wondering, well, why didn't she just use, you know, almond color cardstock? <laughs> but I like the, the shading because you can leave it kind of white in the center like I did, and it just adds a lot of interest. Okay, so we have our card panel here and I'm using Lagoon ink and the Strokes of an Artist stamp and I'm just going to add some texture and color to my background here to give a place for my seashells to kind of rest. So I want to leave room up in the upper right hand corner for my sentiment there. So I don't want to put the ink up there. We're going to avoid that area. So I'm going to choose a smaller little splotch here. And I think that'll work just like so. And there, that looks good. I love this Lagoon ink. It's just such a pretty color. 
So I'm securing this to a piece of craft cardstock. So we have that little eighth of an inch border around the edge. And I'm going to use these two elements on my card. I also have some burlap ribbon here. I'm tying a knot in one end and then I'm going to secure this across the bottom of my card. I want to kind of separate out those individual strands so I'm just kind of tearing out that with my X-Acto knife and you can see they separated just a bit. And now I'm going to use my tape runner to attach this down. Glue dots work really well too, um, but the tape runner seems to hold the ribbon fine so I'm going to use that since I have it handy. I really like the elements on the Beach Treasures stamp set. The size is really nice. You can use it for cards, but they're also scaled for scrapbook pages as well. So I don't know if you know, you're know you a scrapbooker or just a card maker, but I am both. So it's really nice when you can use those elements for multiple projects. I got a little ad adhesive up on the top there, so just using my adhesive remover eraser there and it takes it right off. I decided to pop up just one of my little embellishments with dimensional foam. So that one will be popped up and kind of overlapping my starfish. I know it's not called a starfish. I know it's a sea star, but I grew up with it as a starfish. So it's just kind of hard to let that go. So a starfish or sea star, um, but anyway, I think that looks good. I like them kind of layered together there. And now I have rose gold sequins and I'm just gonna use my glue dots and put a few of these. But first we wanna add our sentiment. This is the spruced up stamp set and there's this little thank you. So I like to lay it on my project first and then pick it up. And that way you can see how it's gonna look and everything. We will use the toffee ink, and I haven't used this stamp yet, so I'm just going to practice on a sheet of computer paper here. Looks like it's stamping well, so I'm ready for my card here, and that came out perfect. You can never have too many thank you cards. So again, I'm just gonna attach a few of these rose gold sequins, and I'm kind of hand picking through them because there's a couple different shades of colors in here and you know I'm looking for a specific tone so I'm just gonna pick out oh probably you know five or so of these and kind of just tuck them around our sea star starfish and our uh, seashell there this just adds a little bit of sparkle and some interest and I like the way that looks so I have my card here from my envelope cards and envelope value pack so I'm just, that's already pre-scored. It makes it really nice and convenient. Put a little tape runner on the back and then we can just center this onto our card base. I think one more little sequin right there and that looks good. So no card is complete without a little shimmer pen. Uh, this is the clear shimmer brush and Normally I would say squeeze this out onto your all-purpose mat, but I just kind of put it on my Versa mat there. And it's fine, it wipes up, but the glitter kind of stuck to the mat a little bit and I had to work a little harder to get all that glitter off. But it added such a nice shine. Um, it's hard to see, but if I hold it in the light there, can you see the shimmer on the starfish and this uh, the seashell? So pretty. Okay, moving on to our second project. Again, I'm going to use the Strokes of an Artist stamp set, but this time I'm using the toffee ink and my card is going to go in portrait mode rather than landscape. So I'm just making a, it kind of looks like a hot mess, but it'll come together in the end, I promise. Um, the toffee color kind of reminds me of sand since we're using uh, ocean themed stamps. So the paper I'm using on this card is a uh, retired paper packet. Um, I love this paper pack. I, the name is escaping me right now. If I remember it, I'll leave it in the link below. But I just got a glimpse at the new catalog that's coming out. And there is a coastal nautical themed paper pack. And it's gorgeous. I love it. 
So it's going to be really nice to mix with these beach treasure elements. So you saw I cut out a stitched bracket there and now I'm putting my sand dollar nestled over the top. I'm going to tie a little bow with that burlap ribbon and we'll just get this situated onto our card and then we will add our sentiment. So I think I'm going to put my little bow down towards the bottom there. Got to get it all situated. And I have a little piece of the almond cardstock and I'm going to stamp. This is the shared happiness and that sentiment I just showed you says just because. So I think I will use that for this card. And it's nice to have some just because because they work for any occasion. So we will just trim around this guy and I'm going to dovetail one little end there. Maybe struggling. Okay, I got it. Use a little tape runner and we'll put this right across our stitch bracket frame and trim off the excess there like so and then use glue dots or really sticky adhesive like double sided tape to attach your ribbon and then again we got to add our clear shimmer brush there to make our sand dollar look all shiny and sparkly. And we'll add some more sequins to this card. A couple here. I like to put things in odd numbers. So we'll just kind of make a little assortment, a little visual triangle going around our sea, uh, sand dollar there. And that looks good. So we have our A2 card base again. That dark blue paper is the sapphire paper that I have matting this card. So here is our finished project and I love that kind of just sandy distressed background and look at all that shimmery shine on our sand dollar. So pretty. The color palette that I used for these projects I think it just works really well. It's kind of a go-to color combo. That pop of paprika works so well with the lagoon and the sapphire and the craft colors. Just very pretty. I will leave a link to this Stamptacular sale in the description box below. I will also have a list of all the supplies I use to create today's projects. For more information, you can always visit my blog at craftyconceptswitherin.com. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Here is another video if you missed last week's that you might want to check out for more stamping and card making inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.